Yeah, welcome back, folks. We got the dollar index rocking higher right now. Great day to talk to our man Teddy Cakestat. Wait, Markets. Wait, wait, go Teddy Bucky. We're gonna talk to Teddy. We're talk to Daddy. <laughs> All right, folks. Let's jump over to our man Teddy Cakestat. You can course. check out Teddy's Tiger we're Forex course. report every Monday. And we're today course, we got a webinar. Teddy. And Teddy, it's gonna we're be an adventure, course. man, because we got Tommy we're the Fourth fireworks. joining us. I know. Hi, Tommy. Hi, little Did T. Did you see fireworks? Did you see the fireworks? I know. Did you say hi to Teddy? Say hi, Teddy. There you go. Hi, Tommy. Yeah. Uh, so, Teddy, we're going to kick it off, man. you got a great webinar Teddy, coming up tonight. Tommy, what are we, we going to say? Are they going to have to sign up? Say, go sign up for the webinar. Go sign up for the webinar. I know. we got to do it. That's right. You tell them, folks. Uh, Tommy. Uh, so, Teddy, let's kick it off, man. You have the webinar coming up tonight, capitalizing on time with calendar stock option spreads. If you could give the viewers a brief preview of what you'll be talking about tonight, man. Well, we're going to be talking about that particular strategy, strategy which is uh, <coughs> calendar spreads. So, on calendar spreads can be used in equities. You can use it on ETFs, on stock indexes as well. You know, so it's something that's a very versatile uh, option strategy. It's also very simple to implement. Um, it's not something that you have to be a very experienced option trader to use or understand how to uh, put on. So it's very definable as far as your risk, um, also very definable as far as your uh, potential uh, profits as well. You know, And it's a way of also trading the market where um, direction is important, but it's not necessarily the whole thing that you have to worry about unless it goes really extreme against you. I mean, obviously, markets will go in the directions that they will. So, But uh, calendar spreads is a really good way of taking use of time time you know like there's all kinds of ways of trading options and people get really scared when you start to mention the Greeks you know so time is a factor of option pricing and calendar spreads take advantage of that uh, particular variable so when you're using calendar spreads you're trading closer month options and also uh, further out options so you have two legs to the spread and the, and the main focus is on time <clears throat> more than di direction so it's a very interesting easy strategy to uh, implement and I will show how you figure out the setups where you use the broad market to give you an idea of direction and as far as what side you want to be on and then how you when to take the trade whether it's a good option trade to put on or what sometimes you know just because you have a strategy doesn't mean you put it on so we'll be going over highlighting that as far as how you enter lay out your risk and also your objectives and when you enter those Teddy is that something and I know you're gonna dive into it for an hour tonight so you don't have to give it all away right now but is that and I know it's two different time frames is it Something that you, you can, can you sell the closer leg and buy the longer leg and do it vice versa? Or is it usually one way or the other? Because I know you roll the shorter term option as well occasionally, right? So does that go both ways or is that Correct. usually one way or the other? Well, you're always short the front month and okay. long the further months because that's what nice. you're, you're trying to make money off of time decay. So cool. that, obviously both options will decay, but the further out month decays at a shorter rate. So that's where your, your money is based off of time. If the direction, like if the mar if, it, if the market's flat, this is a flat to direction trade. If it stays flat, you're making money on time. If it goes your direction, then you're making time plus direction. Okay, so there's two factors involved with that. Obviously, if it goes the wrong way, then you're losing on both. And times the only times the only thing you'll make when it when the market goes the opposite way. So it also pads your loss. So because you already when you enter the trade, you know what your defined risk is. The, the worst thing that can happen is you, you you actually pull back a little bit of money if it goes the opposite way, and you actually get some of your money back. So you lose less than when you enter the trade. You know. So and as far as rolling them, that's for instance like one of the situations you use is like a head and shoulder, or when you have like in a wave pattern where you're trying to trade the two and the four wave where you're going to trade back into the trend that's where you would roll because if all of a sudden you're starting to catch that move you know because the shorter month expir expiration month as you come into that and that expires then you would flip the, the other one so then you would all sell out the uh, the one that you were long to go short and you'd buy out a further month to keep the trade on if you were trading that trend or that or that chart pattern like for instance like a head and shoulders pattern where you're looking for a big market correction or a big you know rally or something like that i appreciate it man i know you're gonna have a lot to talk about and um yeah it's always interesting myself in terms of how things can change in that spread you're going to be talking about because i love you know it's very simple for me to understand you know a call spread or a credit call spread a, a debit call spread 
But what I look forward to tonight so much is just how things can actually change because you have a shorter term duration, you have a longer term duration, and then you can manage that sometimes throughout that month. Correct. I look forward to it. I know we got some people signed up, so it should be a good crowd out there. Folks, 4 o'clock tonight, check out Teddy's webinar right on the front page of TFNN. Tommy, should they go sign up for the webinar? Tell them. Go sign up for the webinar. That's right. (laughs) Thanks, Tommy. Uh, All right. Let's jump into uh, some of the market action, man. What do you think about this dollar index? Well, you know what? I think right now what you have going on is market cycle 101 going on. And one of the things the currencies are great for is they confirm when yields are driving the markets. You know, And if you picture equities, gold, and interest rates, those are the three major markets that control everything ultimately. But if you picture them going like in a sine wave, they're going up, they're going down, and this is how they go all the time. Okay, But they don't go in tandem. And typically, gold leads the, the stock market and yields lead the other ones. Now, when gold is going down and equities start to go down, that means yields are going up. It's always how that relationship goes in the in the trend basis and vice versa if you're going um, down in yields and then up in the up in gold and up in equities. So that's where we're at in the market cycle right now. And it's showing that. I mean, the dollar made a multi-year, a multi-month um, <clears throat> high. It's the high of the year right now is where we're on, actually. You know, the dollar's been going up now for, what is it, seven, eight, nine weeks straight without having even remotely a, a only slightly higher week, you know. So there's a lot of strength. And that's because of the yields. You know, we've been talking about this for months that yields were the market yields were trading at a discount you know so i mean they needed to be higher i mean we're now finally the treasury bonds and the 10-year notes are trading where they were a year ago when we had it before we had a bunch of hikes and we know that there's still a half a, upwards of a half a point in the market consensus coming up over the next few meetings you know going ending the, going into the end of the year and the first quarter of next year so right now yields are on that terror they're trying to find their equilibrium to their, they're coming to fair value is what it is and once they hit that fair value point that's when we should see a correction you know so i'd be very careful like today the bonds and the tenure are up a little bit so yields are coming back that's a profit taking move i'd be very cautious the trend right now is still a bear for bonds it's a bear for gold and it's a bear for um for equities you know so this also means it's a bull for the dollar you know and as a whole the dollar is crushing what the euro the pound the Swiss actually is, is making incredible highs, and also we have the yen. But then when you look at the Australian and the New Zealand dollar, now they're so beaten up, and they're in a range trade, you know. And then the U.S. dollar, Canada, ironically, where we're having such strength in the dollar, it's faltering. It's it's coming off of a swing low, but it's having a really hard time rallying, you know. So I think we're going to get into that digestion phase. But I'd be very cautious over the next couple of sessions because um, we're, we, I don't think we've found quite the bottom in, yield, in uh, the bonds or high in yields yet. And that's going to drive gold lower, S&Ps lower, at least in the short run, I think. Yeah, and just the move when I was talking to you, man, the tenure, even since I came on the air at 9 o'clock, um, we just traded down six, seven basis points. So chopping around a bit, but boy, those moves pretty quick. Well, I appreciate it, man. I look forward to the webinar tonight. Folks, right on the front page of TFNN. I got it right up here. Capitalizing on time with calendar stock option spreads with Teddy. You just heard a brief part of the conversation, man. We got plenty to talk about. I look forward to it today, Teddy. Uh, myself, look forward to quite an education. All right, we're going to say goodbye to Teddy. Goodbye, Teddy. Say, see goodbye, you tonight. Tommy. <laughs> see you tonight. Awesome, okay. man. Teddy, we'll see you at 4 o'clock, man. Thanks, Tommy. Take care. Thanks. Check it out on the front page, folks. We'll be right back to finish up the program.